Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Lauren Goodman has taken a bitter swipe at the judge who refused to force Kyle Walker to meet her financial demands. The England footballer's ex-mistress was accused of using him as an open-ended checkbook after giving birth to his second love child. Posting about Judge Edward Hess scathing court ruling against her, Lauren poked fun at the judge's comments about her childcare demands. Asked by a fan where her bookcase was from, Lauren replied, For our show home, we demanded a lavish bookcase from Dunal. Both kids' rooms have them. Quite handy and I feel like they aren't offensive. I think they were priced around £35. She also responded to a follower who had also been in court with Judge Hess. Lauren replied, I hope Hess got the publicity I think he craved. So sorry to hear you were on the receiving end of him. Love always wins deep down though. In a highly rare move for the often secretive family courts, Judge Edward Hess lifted reporting restrictions to lift the lid on a scandal. It's after Lauren told Walker's wife Annie Kilner on Boxing Day last year that he'd fathered a second love child with her. The model and influencer is understood to have bluntly written, I don't have two baby daddies, I have one. Last month, Lauren battled her ex in court, but in a damning 30-page document was branded an unreliable witness who tailored her evidence to suit her case rather than the truth. She knew he was desperate to keep the birth of their one-year-old daughter Kinera storm a secret and used it as leverage to get what she wanted, a judge said. And it laid bare her wild shopping sprees and outrageous demands, after a previous judge had slammed for spending money like it was going out of fashion. 2019, Lauren comforts Kyle Walker following his split from Annie Kilner. After a brief relationship their first child is conceived. April 2020, Cairo is born and Kyle moves back in with Annie two months later, having proposed. November 2021, Kyle and Annie get married. 2022, Kyle agrees to see Cairo in secret and his second child with Lauren is conceived. March 2023, Lauren announces she is pregnant but refuses to name the dad. August 2023, Kinera is born with Lauren describing the father as being another footballer. December 26, 2023, Lauren sends Annie a text telling her Kyle is the father of her second child. January 2024, Annie, pregnant with her fourth child with Kyle, dumps him again. April 2024, Annie takes Kyle back. June 2024, Chloe disinvites Lauren from her wedding as they argue about her taking Cairo to the Euros. July 2024, a judge criticizes Lauren for treating Kyle like an open-ended checkbook. Judge Hess concluded by waving away the vast bulk of Lauren's financial demands. Dismissing her £33,000 request for air conditioning he said, as the father said, on the fairly small number of days in England when it is very hot, any discomfort can usually be dealt with by closing blinds slash curtains and deploying a modestly priced electric fan. That is what happens in his home, he said and although he conceded that it may be generally a little colder in Cheshire than in Sussex, he thought, and I agree with him, that air conditioning is rarely needed in an English home. Reacting to Lauren's list of demands, her estranged sister Chloe told the son, to me the demands showed she was angry and hurt and was going for the jugular. She's been seen as the bad person and that's justified with some of her actions so she probably thinks she has nothing to lose. And people are looking at this from the view of an ordinary household income and saying, that's a disgraceful amount of money. At the end of the day the most important thing is that six innocent children are at the heart of this. I fear people have lost sight of that fact.